how good is brunch on a Sunday morning when you've got plenty of time to potter around in the kitchen? I'm going to show you a way to take it one step further by making breakfast a little interactive. This is a power grill. Now I use this sometimes for teppanyaki at home, but I also use it when I've got some friends coming over for brunch. I can fry eggs, make sausage patties and put lots of vegetables onto the grill and everyone can help themselves in the middle of the table. Now for the patties, I'm using some pork sausage, breakfast pork sausages. I like to use these because they've got a slight amount of fat in them so they're going to stay moist throughout the cooking process. I've taken the casings off and now I'll place them into a bowl. And then this is my little trick. I love the addition of halloumi. So just on a coarse grater like this, just going to grate that in with the sausages. Basically, we're wanting to make really simple cheese and sausage patties. So we just need a small handful of that halloumi. And then we're gonna get our hands in there and squish it all together. And I'm not going to add any salt to this because the halloumi is salty enough and the sausages are salty enough. If you like, you'd also use some dried herbs for this like oregano. All right, once that's mixed up, you're just gonna form them into meatballs to start with. And then you can either reshape this back into a sausage or just make them into little rissoles. So just place them onto your bench and then press them out. And they can be quite rough, just like that. So I'm gonna make a few more of these. I've also preheated my power grill. And what I like about this power grill, it's got two sides. So we've got the griddle side, and that's gonna be perfect for my tomatoes and the bacon. And then the flat side is really useful, particularly when I start to cook my eggs. So I'm gonna make enough for two people, so two patties and this will last in the fridge for a while. Now with this, it's all about timing. So it's not essentially a recipe, but it's about assembling. So I'm using some shortcut bacon and we'll just take a few slices out and we'll pop it directly onto the heat. This is non-stick, so I'm not going to add any oil. Next, I'll add some tomatoes and I want whole tomatoes because they look more dramatic. So we'll cut them in half, nice ripe tomatoes, straight down the centre. And a tomato, it needs a little oil so it becomes more juicy and also some salt and some freshly cracked pepper. They can go on now and I'm going to put them cut side down so we get a beautiful char mark and then I'll turn them over. And now for the mushrooms. Now you can put them on as is, but what I like to do is just cut a small amount of the base off. You get to see the little gills inside the mushroom. And I think for presentation wise, it looks much better. So we'll do two or three mushrooms, cutting the stalk off and a third one. And then they can go on too, cut side down. Okay, now it's time for our patties and we want to put them on the flat side. We'll pop them on the grill, a nice sizzle. And you can see that it retains its heat, so it's cooking everything at the same time without cooling down, just like a teppanyaki plate. And then on it goes. And now finally we can add our eggs. So two eggs for this. We want nice fresh eggs. We'll crack that and we'll just pop it straight on the grill. Perfect. And a second egg being really careful not to break that yolk. Okay, that is done. Now we just have to be patient and just enjoy the cooking process. This is a very festive way of cooking in the morning. I love it. Oh, this brekkie cook-up is looking great. Our sausage patties are ready. We've got caramelisation on the bacon and look how perfect those eggs are. We didn't even use any oil and you can see it's non-stick, so I'm very happy with that. A pinch of salt on the egg yolks just to bring out that yummy cheesy flavour of the yolks. And now we can start plating up. So I'm going to take the bacon off first. And we'll pop it on our plate and then I'll just warm up an English muffin. I like to put the English muffin on the grill side, particularly where the bacon was, so it soaks up all of that bacon fat to make it taste extra delicious. We can also add a few tomatoes to our plate, along with our mushies. Just gather them up and we'll pop them in the centre. And now the eggs, look at that. The perfect pair of eggs. Carefully take them off, don't break the yolk. Pop that on the plate and then a little sausage and halloumi rissoles 
can go over here. We'll serve that with our warmed up English muffins. And then finally, depends what camp you're on, you might like some tomato sauce, barbecue sauce, but I love HB sauce. A generous dollop of that over the eggs. That is one stylish breakfast done in a really interactive way. This is a great way to get the kids involved in the kitchen, get them to make your eggs. You know what, get them to make a full breakfast just like this.